the United States has a border that is completely out of control, completely porous. And if you can imagine, the problem is only going to get worse. Now, on social media, I follow a guy named Bill Melligan. He is the uh, reporter with Fox LA. And it seems like his unique and distinctive beat is to cover the border, cover the border in Arizona, cover the border in Texas. And this guy is on it, and he's on it with video. So you can see not dozens, but hundreds, and in some cases over, over a day, or over a week, thousands of people just pouring through the United States. And in some cases, they just walk up to the border control officials. There's no border control really going on at all. It's like, hello, give us your name. Goodbye. Go into the United States. Yeah, we'll give you a court date. We recognize that you may or may not show up. And uh, so this is what's going on, and it's going on by design. So a flagrant violation of our laws, a flagrant violation of the idea of national sovereignty. I mean, think about it. The Biden administration is sending all this money right now to Ukraine. Why? To protect Ukraine's border. To, pro to protect Ukraine's border and its national sovereignty from being infringed and violated by Russia. Well, what about our border? What are we doing to secure our own border? And the answer is virtually nothing. Now, there was a little Band-Aid, or there has been a little Band-Aid on this border problem, and it's called Title 42. Title 42 is basically a uh, an order from the CDC, from the Center for Disease Control, that basically says that in an era of uh, a pandemic, in an era of COVID, we don't want immigrants coming into this country that are bringing coronavirus. And so this provided a basis for um, not only testing people, but if you don't have the ability to know if somebody has COVID, turning people back away at the border on the grounds of title of 42. Now, this was being done under the Trump administration, and it was also being done under the Biden administration until a left-wing judge um, in Washington, D.C. Uh, decided uh, to strike down um, Title 42 or to basically declare that it had expired. And so the effect of striking it down is quite simply that now on December 21st, coming up, Title 42 is no longer in play. Title 42 basically is now lifted. And what that means as a practical matter is that this one stopgap, this one band-aid, this one minor blocking mechanism uh, to prevent illegals from streaming into the United States is now going to be gone. And so even the Biden people have publicly admitted we're going to see a surge above and beyond the surge that we have now. I mean, it's hard for me. I recognize that some of the people coming over are well-meaning. They want to be here. They want to work and live here. But just the, the, the swamping of the United States with this kind of an immigrant problem and the just sort of brazen, uh, we don't even care what the immigration rules and laws even say. And we're just going to dare the American people to do something about it. And gee, you know what? You had a midterm and you didn't. So Biden is like, let's keep going. Whatever we're doing is obviously working well enough and people are not sufficiently angry or energized. Now, while, while Bill Melligan is right there at the border, uh, Republican congressmen occasionally make their way down to the border. Uh, Debbie and I visit the Rio Grande Valley where Debbie's mom lives. So we are, what, 30 miles or so, honey, I think it was from the border. We get a little bit of a glimpse of the border that way. We pass through a big border checkpoint uh, that is not at the border itself, but some 50 or so miles uh, inside. But here's the point. Democrats never go to the border, or I should qualify that. Democrats would go to the border regularly under Trump. Uh, remember AOC with her theatrics at the border fence. Um, remember all the Democrats who are like, look at the horrible conditions at the border. Well, those conditions are actually far worse. Sex trafficking, rape trees, smuggling, gangs, all these problems are being essentially just flooding the United States. So you can forgive other countries by saying, you know what, if the United States wants to destroy itself, if they have so little self-regard and so little self-pride, 
Why should we care? In other words, why don't we just take advantage of the system that they've set up? In some ways, even the immigrants uh, or the migrants are not to blame. They're like, Biden invited me. They've opened the border. Mexico is basically plucking people from Central and South America and saying, listen, we'll give you transit to Mexico. You know why? Because these fools over the United States will let you in. No questions really asked or hardly any questions asked. Just fill out a paper. We'll co- Don't contact us. So we'll, co- we'll contact you. That kind of thing. It seems seems to me that there, I mean, there are a number of reasons to open a Biden impeachment investigation, but this surely is one of them.